Hey everyone, Real Comics to Hacks. Today I'm checking out uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider Destroys Marvel History number two. And the best way to review this is just to tell you look, it's funny. There's so many funny little hidden gems in this book. The best thing you can do is go to your local comic shop and pick it up and read it through because it is it is full of them. It is one joke after another. It's 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 really good. And the book focuses on a bunch of flashbacks through Marvel history and inserts Cosmic Ghost Rider. And the focus of this one is mostly on Spider-Man. And it starts in the Todd McFarlane run, where you have the introduction of Venom, of course, Eddie Brock, and uh, you have Venom drowning Spider-Man, th th that whole fight. And it actually takes the dialogue, it takes the real dialogue from that original comic and basically pulls that fourth wall look at it to where like is that actually what was being said in this comment or in this comic book i mean this basically this whole comic a lot of it could be the funny stuff could be boiled down to a that's what she said joke but it takes that real dialogue and then you have frank castle off to the side just yelling at him really are you hearing yourselves it's it's hilarious but how it fits in the context of the story is that it's uh, Frank Castle posing as Uncle Frito, uh, sitting there talking to his his wife and telling her stories that he's experienced since he's went back in time as the Cosmic Ghost Rider. And it has a ton of stuff, from them being tag team wrestling champions to Ghost Rider hunting down the guy that killed his Uncle Ben, um, fighting Doc Ock, him showing... <laughs> apparently he was also a freelance photographer for... Uh, the bugle and all kinds of stuff man it's it's really funny but a few of the storylines that it focuses on is um, when Peter Parker walked away from being spider-man he how, um, how uh, cosmic ghost rider very hilariously guides him back into realizing that he needed he needs to be uh, Spider-Man that, that he's, he's needed and that he has to accept that responsibility. It goes into the origin story of uh, Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider and the, the dialogue there. I, it, you cannot do it justice in this because it, 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 it's absolutely hilarious. But while these great stories are going on, you're also getting this dialogue between Frank and his wife who and him discussing some of the things he he went through, um, some of the feelings he had, some of the complicated stuff he had after coming back from the war, and how that drove a wedge between him and everyone around him. And he got to see firsthand, he's seen firsthand what it did to his wife and how she felt about it. And getting to discuss with her things that I'm sure he's sitting here thinking he wish he would have told her back in the day before you know what happens you know happens with them when they're when they're killed from there it goes into a story talking about how cosmic ghost rider helped um uh, spider-man overcome some issues he had after the the sin eater saga or during the sin eater saga so um i won't go into that too much because there's a much funnier one that happens right after that which i'm going to go into and what he really gets to discussing is Peter Parker and MJ. And he discusses everything they've been through and how they have uh, they always have always come back to each other. And um, it goes into the, the saga where um, they were a part of the time, where uh, Peter Parker was in New York doing his thing. Actually, he went down to like Africa or something, was, I don't know, doing some important Spider-Man stuff, whatever. And MJ was off in L.A. trying to... Uh, trying to find her career and how they how they end up both of them flying out one to new york one to la you know peter goes to la to find her she goes to new york to find him and of course they miss each other because they well they ended up landing in denver and running into each other and you know everything comes back together and what happens is the uh while they're there uh you know realizing how much they mean to each other Another individual gets delayed in Denver, and it's Victor Von Doom. So Dr. Doom shows up at the airport, and man, he is complaining like, just, just like royalty. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Listen to this. You call this an international airport? This is an embarrassment that the great Dr. Doom is forced to 
touch the ground of a flyover state. This whole sordid affair will make me late at the conference. And Frank Castle is like hiding out as a, a guard for him. And he's like, flyover state? Your people still use carts to pull pulled by oxen. And Dr. Doom just goes, silence, minion. And he says, by the way, and this is Doom talking, those carts are a green technology. If your country industry were not spinning, for, spinning forth enough particulate matter to cause the planet to warm, so he's going off on a you know, fake global warming thing. But, and that's all fine and dandy, but whatever. And then suddenly Peter Parker's spider senses go off and you have some uh, Latverian freedom fighters uh, terrorists come up and try to uh, with a suicide bomb and try to kill uh, Doctor Doom. So what you have happen is uh, Spider-Man and Cosmic Ghost Rider end up fighting to keep all these Latverian uh, guys or assassins from <laughs> trying to kill uh, Doom and MJ and Peter get back together. And then I love this part right here. <laughs> So they're trying to give Dr. Doom grief because he was out for the whole fight. He was knocked unconscious. And he comes to after the fight's over and Cosmic Ghost Rider's like, Well, 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 look who decided to finally wake up after the fighting's done. Morning, sunshine. And Dr. Doom just comes with a, How dare you? I was not slumbering. I was fighting my way back to this mortal plane from the very depths of hell. And Cosmic Ghost Rider's just like, Man, you, all you gotta do is just, just drop a thank you. It'd be nice. From there, that's where Cosmic Ghost Rider says, hey, that's the first time I met MJ. And his wife responds with, I, I really wish I could be strong like her. And Frank goes into telling, or actually Uncle Frito goes into telling her that you are strong like her. You, you don't think for an instance that Frank doesn't feel that way about you. And they, she ends up inviting him for dinner and uh, it's pretty much wrapping up. And then you get um, this shot, which is the hit that's being ordered that ultimately ends up to the death of Frank Castle's family. So, so guys, overall, um, definitely a recommend. I definitely recommend picking this book up. It's fun. It's been, uh, <laughs> it's got a lot to it. There, you, a review of this does not does not flow well because there are so many jokes within this book. They're they're one after another. If you are a comic book fan, just watching the silly changes that he makes happen throughout <laughs> throughout history for different reasons and different items that happen it is worth picking up you'll get a laugh out of it it it's also heading down a uh in in issue three uh what looks like a pretty dark place possibly uh, with the hit being ordered uh, we know that's coming we know that is, is supposed to happen it's the whole reason he went back is to prevent that from happening so we are, gotta see what's gonna happen here Next issue uh, is, looks like it's going to be focusing on the Dark Phoenix. Uh, so if you got the Dark Phoenix, it means you're going to have the X-Men. So, man, this could be a hilarious issue. We don't know who we're going to come across. But, uh, man, I hope it's the X-Men. I hope we get some uh, some twists and turns with them. Because that would be absolutely, I mean, just, just great. I can't wait to see it. Um, so it'll be a month. Uh, it is a monthly. Um, so we got some time. But, guys, I uh, hope you're there for it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, if you're not, um, I'm on Twitter and I'm on Instagram now. So you can go check me out over there. Uh, I'm not super active, but i uh, love to hear from you over there. Also, um, if you haven't subbed, hey, please do so. And if you haven't, leave a like uh, on, on videos that you, you do like from me. Helps a small YouTube channel like mine out. Still trying to grow. Um, sitting at uh, a little over uh, 260 followers right now. So every single one helps. And uh, trying to ultimately reach that that big goal uh, of a thousand here in the uh, near term, I want to do that. Hopefully, in the next six months, it's a, a big goal. But I think uh, I think we can get there um, because I, I do have some uh, some great uh, followers already, and uh, I, I appreciate everyone taking the time to watch these videos. Um, guys, that's all I got. Tell me what you thought down in the comments below and i hope you enjoyed it go pick it up at your local comic shop well worth it real comic stacks out